Welcome back everyone. Last we left off, we finished off the uh, painting our terrain, we put some foliage, added some trees. I, I as well put the, I determined the game space, if you will, with, uh, with the fence, just to kind of limit ourselves with the play area. Um, so now today, without further ado, we are going to go into our geometry and start placing and doing uh, a lot of the the little uh, level design work. So what you do is, of course, go into uh, your modes panel, geometry, scrap a box, and drag it in. Um, just to start though, so that we have just that starting point, I'm gonna call this porch. Uh, go into the details panel, and uh, I'm gonna put flooring to about 50. If I hit the N key while select while the object is selected. It'll go sh and snap right to the floor. And in my content browser, I'm going to grab the porch and just drag it in. Uh, the pivot point is off, so you're going to have to kind of look for it a little bit. And all right. So more or less, I want to give myself enough room to be able to pass and I guess that's enough. Whatever. And this guy here, bring him back. All right, you guys can do your own little adjustments yourself, but I'm just gonna go and do this pretty quick. This is the gray boxing phase, so a lot of this is testing and whatnot. Um, so I got 50. Let's go by. I don't know. Uh, maybe 600. Boy, that's that's good enough. Okay. So once that's done, I'll go back into my details. I'm gonna take this, move to create new, and porch, and add the child house porch in it as well. Uh, on another note, I'm going to move to create new folder and call this house. So we're already starting to make our folders for all the uh, different. Uh, assets okay so once that's done grab another box okay details and this one I'm gonna make it higher so maybe about like 500 and let's just bring it up press end so it's right on the floor now a little trick you guys I highly highly advise you to test continuously while you're in, in play. Uh, there we go. That's kind of goodish. Okay, so let's just press play. So you really want to continuously uh, test your things out because if you don't, like right now, see if I'm here, that's gonna be high enough. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so exit out. Now let's actually make our uh, wall to be maybe uh, 25 thickness okay and bring this in like so I really don't care about the clipping for now because I can come and arrange it uh, later okay so I want the hallway maybe to be about this length all right so before I start copying it I'm going to do the same thing first off change its name to hallway all right world outliner change so i'm only going to do a couple of these and after i believe i'm just going to um uh speed run the rest of it so in like really fast high speed so you guys can see what i did but don't have to like stick around for every second of the whole production all right let's just give it a good little look what the hell see like that hallway that's too that's too big yeah okay so this guy here let's bring him here uh, hallway bring into the house okay so i guess i like that try this again that makes a good hallway i like that okay so Preferably, 
a lot of people when they when they make levels and whatnot, they kind of just like start with the outside, which can work, but preferably I don't like doing that because it's a lot harder to adjust things afterwards. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this. Let's test this out. This is a pretty long hallway. Do I have enough room in the back if I come out? And we're going to have a wall. Uh, I think I'll just remove one layer. So we'll remove this one and that one. <coughs> Oops. Come on, delete. There we go. Delete button was weird. Okay, so now that we got that, I'm going to take one of these walls and push it back. And then over in the details, I'm going to change it to kitchen. And then back in the world outliner, come here, move to, create new folder, and call this kitchen. Take the kitchen and move it into the house. All right. So what you want to do is get it more or less, let's say, at that one. So we're going to put it to this one here, and then move it outwards. So hold the Alt, move out, move out, move out. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to add, I'm going to press E, get this. OK, something like that. And just move this by five now. And move it by one. And I think it just needs one more. There we go. Err. So sensitive. You are so sensitive. Okay. So once that's done, uh, duplicate it, hold the Alt, all right, I shouldn't have moved it, damn it, 50, there you go, move it once, and like so, all right, so uh, I'm probably going to go quite silent now. Because like I said, that's all I want to do for this. All right. And I'll probably start talking if there's anything else. But as at this point, it'll probably all be in, uh, in like a speed run fashion.
All right, so now that I got all the outline all done, um, it's time to start doing the floor. So I'm gonna take this floor here that we have and just move it out like so. All right, so make sure that it's like not sticking out, which here it is. That should, that shouldn't do, no, let me just move it a little bit, alright, so now that I have that, let's change its name to floor, move this to create new floor, move into the house, okay, mm -hmm. Go to 300. Uh, 400. Okay. Not good. My porch is a little bit out. Alright. Uh, that's good. Go back to 50. And let's start doing this. things I can fix later on though. We'll probably be putting a porch out here. Anyways, not uh, not the end of the world. Okay, so I'm probably gonna go silent again, but uh, you guys kind of get the drill. You just have to keep copying and pasting this stuff out. All right, so now that we have <clears throat> the outline all done, and that's it. So next video, we will be uh, going and poking holes in our geometry to actually put in some windows and maybe at least a front door. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.